Hi, I'm Laura Rogers, Microsoft MVP, and this is the third video in the series of custom scenarios when it comes to permissions with SharePoint Online. This video is regarding item level permissions. The first video was site level and the second video was list and library level. I'll go ahead and show you another sort of graphic that I've created to demonstrate the item level permissions and then do a demonstration. As you see here, this is a very simple version of the site structure that we created in the previous two videos. We're going to do we're going to get a little more simple. We're only going to talk about item level permissions on one particular library. So we're going to focus on the company policies library and we're going to talk about all those folders and items that could be inside of that library and how we can apply permissions to them. One best, best practice to keep in mind when it comes to those lower level permissions, those more granular permissions, is it really is a best practice to keep your permissions as low as just the library or list level and not really go any lower. And that is because it can get super complicated to try and administer and try and keep up with all the permissions on those lower level items. It's really difficult to get a good bird's eye view of who has access to what in what folder and, and inside of what library or, or list. So it can get really complicated and get, and, uh, and get out of hand. With that said, here's the demonstration. All right, here's the policies library in my human, human resources site. I'm gonna create a couple of folders. So I'll say accounting policies and another folder called Risk Management Policies. And I'm going to quickly upload a few documents into these folders. I have a set of just sort of example names of company policies and I'm just going to you know pick a few and put them in each folder. Right now that I have files inside of this folder, I can navigate back up using this breadcrumb trail and go over to risk management policies and upload a few documents there. All right, now that those are uploaded, I'll navigate back up to the policies library. And just for fun, I'm going to upload a few documents just to the root of the library. All right, now here is my document library. Now what I can do is I can apply permissions at the folder level and I can apply permissions at the item level. So any permissions I apply on a folder is, is going to apply to everything inside that folder or same thing goes for document set. If I have a document set in here, uh, everything would apply to the items inside the document set. So I can go to the folder level here and choose Manage Permissions. Now, just like with your lists and libraries, by default, that folder is going to inherit permissions from the parent. So I can click Stop Inheriting Permissions. And I want to let the accounting people modify the items in the Accounting Policies folder. All right, so you'll notice that I didn't change any of the other permissions that were on this folder. I simply added and made sure that the accounting people can now contribute, which means they can modify the items in there. Now, how do I navigate back up? It's a little confusing here, isn't it? So I can go back to, over to this sort of breadcrumb trail here, and I can go back up to policies this way. And then I could do the same thing. I can go to each different folder, manage permissions, and I can apply different permissions to each folder so that different departments can ma manage their own policies. All right, I can also do this for individual items. It works the same way. So I can say manage permissions and stop inheriting permissions. And I'll say I'll use that CFO group that I created uh, in the other video, so CFO office. All the people in the CFO office are going to be able to modify this one file. All right, now I'm going to go back up to my breadcrumb trail to policies. 
Now, one thing about folders is that, you know, you don't necessarily want to go crazy and, and create a whole bunch of folders that people have to drill down through. But if you have, if it, the structure's already there and you still want to be able to use those folders for applying permissions, one thing you can do is you can create a view in your library that flattens everything out. Just a little extra tip here. So I can go to create view and I'm just going to create a standard view and call it no folders. And all I have to do to make it have no folders is scroll down to folders here and choose show all items without folders and click OK. Now, the cool thing about this, we've, we've applied all those permissions and we've applied a push, different permissions to different items and different folders. So even if someone looks at this flat view of the whole library, they're still only going to see those items that they've been given permission to, whether they're inside a folder or not. So the permissions apply to all those items. All right, I hope you've learned a lot about item level permissions in this video. I'm Laura Rogers again, and thanks for watching.